before we close, Maurice, I know you had one more statement question that you had before you wrap. Yeah, no, I, uh, I had to go back to it just to make sure I had it right. No, so I was, I was, uh, and this is more serious. Like, so I, I was, I was down at uh, LSU this uh, off season, and obviously I'm down at Ohio State a lot. And I was just wondering, from y'all' opinion, man, like, uh, why, why do y'all believe? I have my own little personal beliefs from hanging around these kids, but why do y'all believe? We're talking to Mason Cam, that younger kids now, I guess, are more mentally fragile than when we all came up. Wow. And and, and, I, and I, I let me let me give let me give context to it, right? Uh, as I was sharing my story, sharing my journey with these young dudes, after I would get done uh, talking to them, like it was just more young dudes who were just like emotionally charged or, um, you know, guys talking about their mental health, their stress, and just something I had never seen before just with when I came up in sports, right? And then I went to Ohio State and it was pretty much the same thing. And guys just talking about the stress of sports, the stress of life. And just like a lot more emotionally wired or just more in tune to the emotions are more visibly showing them than I've ever done. And just, you know, as I was writing notes for the show, I just, I don't know if y'all had an opinion on it, you know, or just uh, any thoughts on it. Um, I think, I think one of the reasons is that, um, the, the lack of, um, and it, it sounds like a broken record, but the lack of father figures, the lack of male supervision, um, to the point that, that when you don't have that male supervision, the child tend to listen to a woman more. That's why even when you get older, you this generation has produced probably more suckers than our generation, even when it comes to dating, because they're so programmed to listen to their mom, which translate when they get older to a girlfriend, they listen to her more than anybody else. And that just produce a different type of man, you know. And I think that's what we're looking at in high value. If they had a, if they, so they don't even know how to take correction. Some most times from a man, so that's why it always goes left because they're not used to talking to a man. They're not used to being corrected by a man, so they don't know how to deal with that. But if a woman, some is like, yeah, 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 we should do that. Yeah, you do that, and you know, they got to be corrected. You calling our kids suckers? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> you say we, me and you, we produce the sucker generation? <laughs> you, sure, you, sure, you sure you don't want to edit that? <laughs> no, I'm not saying we did. Oh, all right, all right. I'm not saying our generation did. I'm saying any, any generation oh, okay. that's highly... Highly trained with just one one parental guidance lacks a lot of other the other male qualities that they need, and that's what we're looking at in high volume. You know, so this is why why guys when something goes wrong, they don't know how to talk to each other. It always goes straight to the gun because they're not used to conflict resolution, or or you can have your opinion, your opinion is different than mine, and and we could still be in the same room, but you know, sometime when they watch their moms not agree with something, walk out, leave, not be there, they tend to have those same traits instead of having a manly trait. Right. Um, for me, Mo, it's two things. It's, first of all, I'm gonna say it's product of your environment. Yeah. Everybody that I'm cool with, everybody, and we don't fuck with you, and I'm talking about all my friends. We don't fuck with you if you don't take care of your kids. So whether you live in the same house with the, your, your son or daughter's mother, all my friends take care of their kids. We don't even let that slide. And none of my friends, because a lot of us, including myself, yeah. grew up without a father. And to me, sometimes because of, and, and I'm trying to think how to put this, because my kids or out my friends' kids' back isn't against the wall. Like my back is isn't against the wall. They tend to be a little more. It'll it'll work itself out to as opposed to, <laughs> as optimistic. A, yeah, yeah. yeah, as opposed to <laughs> nigga, there ain't no other way out this shit, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I think that sometimes they're like, uh, if this don't work out, I'm still good because they have a, uh, um. 
I'm trying to say this the most politest <laughs> way I can say it. They got an outlet like, yo, yeah. my mom got it or my dad may got it. You know what I'm saying? So if, if I want to quit, I'll quit. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm yeah. saying? And uh, More opportunities. Yeah, ex- yeah mo- way more opportunities. As opposed to somebody who may be the same age, like Mace just said that they want to go to the guns and do this, that, and the third because they're not growing up in a stable environment. Yeah. Um, so I would first say that's first and foremost for me is being a product of your environment. If you're growing up in crazy shit and your mother's telling you, yo, we need food tonight, but I ain't got no money, or your brother's a killer, or your cousin's a killer, and there's no other options. Uh, then that's what you may turn into. Not saying that you have to, but if you don't have a lot of options, like May said, yeah, that's what you're into. As opposed to when your parents have money and you may not be going as hard as you want to go hard because pause because um you have more options and you know everything's not going to be on bad. Mm-hmm. But my second opinion on this situation is Mo is that it's the vaccines. The shit they shooting niggas up when they born, man. It's fucking these niggas up, making them soft. Pause. Making them soft, making them think different, making them weird. Like, I'm telling you right this, right straight up like this. It's the vaccines. Because all jokes aside, there's more form of autism now, people on the spectrum, et cetera, et cetera. I'm telling you like this, if you never had the chicken pox, you ain't no real nigga. Because they shot you with the shit for you never to get chicken pox. Chicken pox ain't even been out in like 20 years or something like that. You know what I'm saying? For somebody who under, <laughs> yeah, serious, exactly somebody said. under 20 would be like, the chicken pox, they'll look at you like, it's from 1921 or something. Shit was floating around. Yeah. Chicken pox was like some regular <laughs> shit. If you, ain't, if you wasn't yeah, around so somebody was. who had chicken pox or somebody, or you ain't have chicken pox, then you got shot with the vaccine not to get chicken pox. And you may be a weirdo, and you don't know you're a weirdo. Yeah, this is crazy. I don't care, Myrtle. No, I don't care. no, I'm in agreement with you. I'm in agreement. At first, I was laughing until you brought up autism. Then I was like, oh, yeah. he, he, he understands. Because in all jokes, it sounds funny, but it's more people on the spectrum after they get certain vaccines so you don't get the measles Vaccines. or the chicken yeah. pox or whatever. But then that equals out more people on the spectrum. So the vac- would you rather have ch- vac- would you rather have chicken pox for two weeks and be regular or take the vaccine and have Look be on the spectrum? Stat. Look at Stat. Stat took the shot. That's why she's looking at she you. She don't like even that. know what chicken well, we pox just, is probably. We just yeah. think different. Uh, but let me let me finish <laughs> before before you tell us your differences. Um I really I really believe in listening to you, Cam, that that us as men, we probably have to do more now based upon what I just heard because if there's no if there's no father figures in the household and like you said there's guys being there for their children but the, everybody that helped us growing up they was like men you know yeah they, absolutely it was coaches it was all type of people that helped us out yes and I think it's it's our generation time to make time to help those generations Really but at the same it. time, murder, not to cut you off and not, yeah. and not disagreeing with you. People who helped us out is because we was helping them out. <laughs> 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 we was winning games. Yeah. We was playing basketball. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We was sell- whether you was a lookout selling drugs, whatever. Nobody just had a con heart and said, yeah. you know what? Let me look out for you. That that really yeah, wasn't it. Yeah, niggas ain't Bobby sneakers because <laughs> yeah, we wasn't winning games. Yeah, exactly. So I mean, I get what you're saying. Yeah. And then not only that, <laughs> it wasn't like niggas was traveling to help us out. These this was what was available in our area. So as much as I agree with you, that was this was, was, was the only option we had. <laughs> Come in with your difference. Yeah, my best. That yeah. I I don't know. Like I just feel like like vaccine like if. It's approved. It ha- if it helps people do what you are comfortable with, okay? That's just how I feel. No, what I'm saying is this is not all fact. This is not scientific fact. Yeah. But I don't know a lot of people with autism growing up. And I'm not saying it wasn't people with autism. But it's running rampant. It's a lot now. And there's no chicken pox. So people can say Cam's ignorant. He don't know what he's talking about. This, that, third. I'm just saying if you probably do a numbers check, 
as opposed to that shit. I'm just telling you. That's just my so opinion. So you think they fixed one thing no, and no. messed up something else? My opinion. My opinion. Yeah, that's my, what he's basically saying. It's my not opinion. that the vaccine didn't work for some, yeah. but it messed up a lot of yeah. other things. No, that's I, what he's saying. Yeah, I'm not saying I this. I completely understand what he's saying, and yes. I understand what you're saying. We all three just think differently. Okay, <laughs> you you don't think there's any truth to any of what we're saying? Or? Um, It's not that there's no truth, because your truth is your truth. No, there's... Uh, your truth then there's a truth yeah and then the truth yeah and i guess we'll find that out as time goes on but we're gonna end it on that note Mar